coming up. In this video, you will learn how to add a button to your navigation menu when using the Beaver Builder theme. The problem is you want to add a button to your navigation menu, but you're not quite sure where to begin. To get started, we will need to first create the menu item that we want to turn into a button. From the WordPress admin panel, go to Appearance and click on Menus. If you have more than one menu, select the one that you want to edit from the list. Next, we will add the menu item that will become a button. We'll add a custom class to the menu item. Click the arrow on the menu item so it expands to show extra settings. If you don't see a CSS classes field here, click on screen options in the upper right corner of the screen. In the section, Show Advanced Menu Properties, go ahead and select CSS Classes. Now we can scroll back down to our menu item, and in the CSS Classes field, enter a class for the menu item. Note that it's a best practice to prefix a class with a unique letter string to avoid conflict with other built-in classes. For example, Let's use bb-nav-button for our class name. Go ahead and click on Save Menu. And lastly, we will need to add some CSS code for that class. Go to Appearance, Customize to open up the customizer, and Additional CSS. Here we will want to add a piece of code which you can find in the description below this video. You will also find the code here in our knowledge base, which I will leave a link in the description below. If you're following along with me, go ahead and copy the CSS rules and paste it here. Be sure to change the class in these lines to the custom class that we used when creating our menu item. You will also want to change the other settings for the button layout and style to fit your needs. Note that although the Customize Additional CSS tab exists in every WordPress installation, the code placed here is theme specific. What this means is that it will disappear when you switch themes, but it comes back if you return to the old theme. So if you want to migrate code to a new theme, you'll need to copy and paste it manually. In addition, if you have questions about where to add CSS code on your WordPress site, I will link up to an article on our knowledge base that explains the differences. And of course, if you got any value out of this video, be sure to hit the like button and click to subscribe to this channel so you don't miss out on our upcoming videos. And we'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.